everybody. So, my name is Joe Boldus. I'm from here in Nevada. I've been out here in Area Kiva, Peru for over a year. So, we're going to go over teaching and all that good stuff in my day. So, ask me any questions and I'll answer them. So, here we got my typical Peruvian breakfast, and this is my kitchen. And I live with 16 people, and it's actually pretty quiet today. And I believe today's gonna be a great day, ain't that right, Tony? All right, guys. So basically, uh, my phone microphone is broken, so I have to use this. But but basically, I have been teaching here for over a year, but I quit last month. So basically, it's gonna do my day and answer some good questions. So I took the international TEFL course here in Arequipa, Peru, and in the same school they hired me, and they started me out like at 13 souls an hour, and they ended up like I think 20. Or 19 souls an hour and it's actually really easy to find school here because everybody's all right guys so now what i have to do is i have to finish editing this guest all out commercial it's pretty much almost done so it shouldn't take too long but yeah this is what i'm doing now to make some extra money so i have no shoes today so just i'll get back to you in a few yeah so behind me right there that yellow thing that's my school uh, there's actually two of them. That's ELC 2. And over there we teach adults Monday through Friday and kids on Saturdays. So the schedules depend everybody if you want full time. Alright guys, so the process to become a teacher out here is pretty simple. It's just you take the TEFL Academy course, they send you one of these places that have certified teacher, and then you have a TEFL certificate that can be used anywhere. And you just look for a job, and it's that easy. Like, it really is. Alright, so when you first come out here though, some of the first friends you're going to make are the teachers. So, like at this school that I work for, they have around 30 teachers from all over the place. And they become really good friends with them, but it's a trap because then you're only speaking English. Alright, so the students, like I said, adults, Monday through Friday. And it is actually, I like it. I really love teaching adults. And for kids, Saturdays, I usually get out of those. I usually just do tutoring because they are crazy and they do not want to learn. Alright guys, so the schedules actually differ every single month. So every month there's 18 days of actual teaching with three days in there for tests. And then you get one week off and then every month, every cycle you have a new class. So it's like it really gets... Yeah, so like I said, the schedule depends every month. And as well as saving money, if you work four classes, which is over full time, you will be able to save money. Personally, I like two classes. I like to chill. I'm out here to have fun. And it was perfect. And I, I love it. Alright, so I'm going to go over the class sizes. So class sizes range from 4 students, the minimum to open, to 16. And personally, I like 8. I like that, some interaction. But 16 times overwhelming. Stay away from a 5 to 7. You do not want to babysit high school students. All right, guys, we're here. I got my letter of recommendation, as you see, because I've been here for a year, and you know what? I don't get paid much, but that's, that's the experience really matters. And right there, you got some alpacas. All right, guys, so it's definitely better to take it in person. I mean, that's why I came out here. You know, it's better because, you know, you get immersed. You get to learn all this kind of stuff with actual people, and it's just the type of learner I am. You know, I just want to be here and do it, and you actually see how easy it is to get a job. All right, guys, so one bedroom, uh, it costs... Let's see. It depends where. All about location, 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 of course. But in Yanawana, which is close to everything, you're looking around six, uh, 600 solars a month. All right, guys. So the most challenging thing for me is probably the milk because, you know, I know you may not know me, but I really love milk and they don't really have what I want here. And besides that, probably the language, like when I'm trying to direct, when I'm filming, it's very difficult because my Spanish is not the best. So I believe I already went over this, but... Uh, it's pretty, the process is pretty simple. It's just, you know, take the TEFL course, and it's one month of an intense course. Like, that's why I didn't want to take it online. I want to take it in person. It's intense, but they really prepare you for what comes next, and you really feel like The one thing about, I want to mention about this place is the weather. It is absolutely amazing. Like, it's dry. It's pretty high up here, but it's consistently sunny all the time. You never have to check it. You never have to check it, and it is awesome. So I'm trying to go everything I can in this story takeover, but I'm also, I've created a documentary 
and I'm going to release it actually on Monday. So if you want to check it out, I go over through a lot of stuff about Peru, you know, food, transportation, cost of There's my Hi. baby right there, the one and the only, Melissa Hi. Cordova. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? We're going to be drinking tonight, are we? Doing a little party over here. All right, guys, we made some Pisco Sours, and right here we got some egg white. Uh, we got sugar, Pisco, and lime. And then we got that baby, too. All right, guys, the thing about their own party is that nobody ever shows up on time. They're on Peruvian time, but they will probably be here, most likely, I guarantee it, at one point. And then we're all going to go out, and it will be a great time. For now, we got munchies. Good day.